Okay, let's see what we can do with this one. The nerds will inherit the copier world. Yes, they will, folks. Nerds will inherit the copier world. Again, I did another burp. Okay, let's see what we have. We have here a top with sequins, and this is a bit, a bit like, yeah, whatever that is, this mesh. And we got sequins, silver sequins. Try and shine them up. Okay, on the glass, the sequins will go. So I'm just using my camera hand here to position, and we're going to move it around. See how that went. So that's where it is now. Tricky sort of movement stuff. And it's very difficult controlling movement, making it do what you want it to do. Uh, this looks interesting, that bit there. But it's not what we want. And just put it on like that. Okay, out it comes. Yeah, we we got some of that mesh, which looks nice, um, but it's not what we want. Um, it looks quite nice. It looks promising. Um, we're going to do another. Just going to keep doing it, folks, as much as I can. That looks a lot better. That looks much better, actually. Uh, wondering if we're going to make this, we're going to use this as our master copy, or whether whether we're going to. That's a good question. It looks promising, but it's not quite there. Uh, go and do another one, folks. Go and do another one. Yeah, that looks interesting. Uh, that looks a lot better. It still could be better than that. Maybe we could use this as our master copy. Yeah. Okay, we're just going to retire this. That'll look really interesting if we can make it look any good. And we're just going to swirl it round. Let's see how this swirled version looks. 
yeah, that looks interesting. It looks promising. Um, I've got to try another one. It looks promising, um, as I say. I've got to try another one. Yeah, that looks interesting. Um, just wondering if maybe I could use that as a piece to enlarge, you know, elaborate on. Don't know. I'm not sure. Maybe I could. Um, we'll just see where my intuition takes me 400%. Sometimes I do these pieces where I enlarge them really big, like I start with a small area and I enlarge that area really, 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 really big. So if I can just line that up, if I can just make a guesstimate as to where to put it. And hopefully this 400% job will work. Hey, that looks interesting um, it looks too big or well, it's just not big enough on the vertical uh, wondering if it's going to be any good maybe we could take this and we're going to enlarge it that way um, that's a good question um, Oh yeah, we're going to use that piece, this piece, as our master copy. So that's going to get put away, and we're going to, this I'm thinking will be the centre of the job, and we're going to enlarge it off down that way. I'm actually thinking maybe this could be, wondering where the centre of the job is going to be. It's going to be... My intuition's telling me it's there, uh, but I have to enlarge. That's a good question. How are we going to make this work, folks? This is a tricky one. I just got myself into a tricky little sitch. So, trying to see if we can make this actually work. really missing a loved one folks and I'm trying to get my um, photocopier work on television so I can have him located so he can uh, maybe ring the TV channel and find me uh, I think this is shit to be quite honest uh, wondering how we're gonna do this folks um, I'm thinking this is going to be better as the centre of the job. Um, going to stretch it. Um, I don't know. But basically I'm really longing to... Oh, my phone's ringing. I think it's my mum. Uh, I just can't answer it at the moment. I hate it when the phone rings when I'm demoing. Um, it's just bad timing. Um going to stick it 200 by 200 but basically I made some mistakes when I was young which led to this missing person status of my future husband Luigi and I'm trying to get him back 
uh, I know he loves me. I know he cares. I know he, he'd never hate me or abandon me for the stupid things that I've done. And that's the thing I hold out hope for, is that maybe he wants to see me again. Um, that he wants to be back. And I know he loves me and I'm not going to give up hope, but I need the TV channels to, to cooperate with me. Uh, like maybe having a break from the coronavirus for 10 minutes and see how, how my stuff rates in comparison. Because the coronavirus isn't everything, folks. It shouldn't have to be the, the thing that the news channels rely upon for a good ratings. It should be, there should be some positive content as well as negative content in the news and the current affairs. Uh, we need some heartwarming stories because not everyone wants to watch the latest instalment of the coronavirus saga. It's really not, it really, it actually scares people. People do get upset. Uh, hearing this shit, it's not for everyone, you know. It, I don't watch television, generally speaking. Uh, I don't own a TV at the moment. Even though I did and it broke, I never replaced it. Uh, I haven't replaced it and I'm not going to. I've got better things to do. I don't watch television. A little bit on social media, um, a little bit at the uh, cafeteria at the Met Centre in Sydney, near Wynyard Station. And they got a television there and they got Sky News. And I watched Sky News a few days ago, about nearly a week ago, and I was, it was absolutely plastered with coronavirus updates and news. And it was really, it really discourages me. I'm not interested to know much about this disease. I need to know a little bit. Don't get me wrong, I do want to know a little bit, but I'm not interested in watching every instalment, every gory fucking detail related to it. I do think that, that the, the channels do over, overdo it. I think they really, really overdo. Um, and I just need to have my stuff up there and it really discourages me to, to see so much uh, coronavirus coverage uh, at the expense of everything else. Anyway, that's come up better than I thought it would. I think now we can call this demo quits. <laughs>